Hi, everyone. How are we going? G'day, Raf. How are you, mate? Hey, Lockie. How are you, guys? Good to see you all here for our first step session. Thanks for coming. We've had a couple of, uh, about a morning and an afternoon off, or hopefully you guys have been staying active, getting outside yesterday. Uh, it was really beautiful uh, afternoon, evening yesterday. So hopefully you guys made the most of it. Uh, it's another beautiful day today. So as you can see, I'm outside. Uh, so I can do some of my movements here. Our first step session, I can I can blend those into a uh, some practical stuff and, and start to build into some basketball specific movements. Um, as always, the, the purpose of, of this session is to work on that explosiveness, uh, sprint technique, and, and just overall, just basketball movements into a first step to help us blow by our defender. So what you'll need today to get through the session, we're going to go through very similar exercises to last week. We're just going to try and do a second set. So for anyone that did our bounce session on, uh, on Monday morning, similar, if you've got time and I'm still explaining exercises, you feel free to go, go right ahead and do a second set, okay? Um, don't have to wait for me. So... You'll need a drink bottle. Um, you'll need your skipping rope. Hopefully you've got a skipping rope or you've got, uh, you know, an idea of an alternative and I'll show you some alternatives. You, you may need a yoga mat. Um, I'm getting a message from Alex. Is any, am I glitching for anyone else? No. Give me your heads up. Nah, all good. Okay, Alex, might be your connection, mate. Sorry, all good. Okay. All right, we'll just keep working. Hopefully, Alex, your connection cleans up a little bit. Um, so yeah, so you, you need a yoga mat. If you're down on the ground, we do do like a push up, a push up to sprint start. Um, you may need some cones or markers if you've got something like a cone or a marker to use. And if you've got a long resistance band that can help us as well, but you don't, um, you don't have to have those things. So we're going to get started here, uh, with our warm up. You will need your skipping rope or, or you'll be able to do a skipping type movement. Um, we're going to go with skipping for 30 seconds into body weight squat. So I've got my skipping rope. Everyone should be up away from their camera. We don't need, uh, we don't need just yet. Uh, we're up away from our camera, ready to get cracking. 30 seconds worth of skipping. Here we go. I can see everyone now. Perfect. All right, get yourself plenty of space. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds worth of skipping. As always, with any of these sessions, if you've got any questions or you're not sure on a movement or something that I say, please feel free to chuck it in the chat. You can chuck it in the chat to everyone or just to me. It's up to you. 10 more seconds here. Three, two, one. Good job. Skipping rope down. We're going to go to our 10 body weight squats. So again, our feet, hip distance apart, sitting down on that imaginary chair. Here we go. 10 of the best. Do these at your own pace. Do these in your own time. So this session is not like yesterday morning. It's like not our, it's not an interval session. We shouldn't be we should be working hard, but more uh, quality of reps and thinking about the movements we're doing. All right, so once we've done 10 body weight squats, we're now to a dead bar, uh, sorry, uh, A skips with an arabesque. So really great sprint technique exercise is the A skip. Again, for those that have done them before, you can go ahead and do them. We're gonna do A skips for 30 seconds, what that looks like. I start with my left arm up, nice and square, and my right knee up. And an A skip is we're just skipping on the spot, driving opposite arm, opposite knee. Okay, we're gonna do that for 30 and three, two, one. Here we go. So again, pushing off, driving that knee up. Good guys, excellent. Good, 10 seconds down, driving that knee. That arm drive is really important for sprint technique as well. As I said last week, you don't see too many skinny sprinters. Here we go, five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, good job. Arabesques, five on each leg, arabesques. 
So it's to everyone here. So we've got our best. You guys know it's a favorite of mine. Start on my right leg, left knee up, kick it back. Point my chest to the ground, keep my back straight, swing through and drive up. I'm going to do... Actually, I'm just going to do two on each leg and then I'm going to come watch you guys. There'll be periods of the session that I'll stop doing and I'll just come and check on you guys, see if I can see any form issues. Good job, Reed. Good job, Talia. Good job, Matty Shacklock. Perfect. You can use that Superman arms if you want a little bit extra. Perfect, Menzi. Good. Superman. Superwoman. Good job. Good job, Lockie. Good. Good, Kobe. Good, Aaron. Good job, Zave. So five on each leg. We want to keep that off leg really active, okay? I know it's hard to balance, but try and focus. Good job, Ben. That's it. Great work, mate. Job H. Awesome. All right, if you've done that, you need your yoga mat for the next lot of exercise. We're doing some core inactivation. So core inactivation is our next section. So I'm going to come to the ground here. I'm just super, super tough. So I'm going to do it on the bricks. I'm not going to bring my uh, mat out today. So we've got, we've got a glute bridge and side plank for 30 seconds on either arm. All right. If you're on a hard surface, I'm only joking. I'm going to do it today, but you shouldn't. You should have a mat or something nearby that you can use. Zach, good job. Um, if you're on a, you know, if your court surface is nice and easy, don't stress too much. If you're if you're okay putting your elbows down on the surface you're using. Um, all right. So yes, yeah, so we've got glute bridges for ten, side plank for thirty on each side. If you if you know what you're doing and you've done your glute bridges before. I'm going to grab my, uh, grab my handy com computer here so I can see you guys. I'll come into my area. All right, so our glute bridges, we've got, again, to find our feet, you just want to twist to the side. You should be able to easily touch your heel. If your feet are too far out like that and your feet aren't flat on the ground, now I can't touch my heels, okay? But you don't want, you don't want your heels to be too close either where I don't even really need to rotate. So about here is good, about a 90 degree angle with your shins and your thigh. And we're just going from here and pushing straight up to the sky. 10 glute bridges. Again, one, if you've done this already, some of our more experienced kids, glute bridges, you might've done your 10 already. Feel free to go straight into your side plank for 30 seconds each side. You can keep your own time <clears throat> and the rest of us will catch up. And if we're still going, you just have a drinks break at the end. job excellent good alessandra that looks like cormac hannigan good job mate read you into your side planks good job good zave good that's fine laney and alana or i can only see one of you there if you're into your side planks that's good if you're still doing your uh still doing your glute bridges that's okay as well okay so most of us now look like we're moving into side planks jack cody perfect Remember that elbows directly underneath our shoulder. I trust you guys to keep your own time. Okay, we're doing each side. So we're all working at different paces. But if you're with me, coming up, and we're holding. I've got about 15 seconds to go on my right, 15 to go on my left. Zach, I don't know what that exercise is, mate. I don't remember saying sit on your foam roller, but sure. <laughs> okay, that's me done on my right. I'm switching across to my left. Guys, if you get done with these exercises, remember, if you're outside and you're lucky enough to have a hoop, or if you've just got a ball handy, do some ball handling, do some shooting, shoot some free throws. If you've got headphones in, you'll be able to hear when I move to the next, the next exercise. So I'm side plank on my left side here. Got a question there. I can't see it. Looks like a, a Zach Taylor special. So it's 30 seconds on your left side. Is that someone put their mic on? You got a question? How many times do we do the side planks? Do we just do once on each side or twice? once on each side? Yeah, unless you want to do two. Who's that? Is that is that Jamie? Hannah and Maddie McIntyre. Oh, Hannah and Maddie. Hey, how are you? You can go two on each side if you if you can't be bothered waiting for me or you don't want to shoot free throws or run around for a bit but we're going to move on to our next exercise anyway. Yeah. So as I said, you're right. As I said, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to move through this pretty quickly. 
but you don't have to do it at the same time as me. I'm just here as a guide for you guys to look and see the exercises. But ideally, you'll start to familiarize yourself with these exercises more and more, um, particularly when we get to the power section. So now we're doing our dead bug rocker. So you guys remember what that looks like. I've got my arms straight up. I've got my shins straight, but I've got my knees directly above my hips. And I'm going to lower my left leg and right arm. Bring it back. Lower my right leg and left arm. Bring it back. Then I rock up and tap my heels to the ground. I try and keep that dead bug shape. And again, that's our dead bug rocker. We're doing 10 of those. Do that at your own pace. Rock up. So we're activating our core much like on Monday morning with our bounce. Our core is so important to our sprint technique and our sprint takeoff. If we have weakness in our core, then that's a, that's a weak link in the chain. We can't have that. Once you've done your dead bug rockers, watch out for the puppies there, Jenkins, when you're down on the ground. So Lucas or Lockie is. Dogs are a real hazard if you're uh, lying on the ground doing dead bugs. Okay, once you've done dead bugs, we're into the world's greatest. So you guys remember, it's a stretch, but it's also a bit of a, uh, like a lunge series. I call it, or we call it, it's well known as the world's greatest stretch. From the side, this is what it looks like. We're just gonna do, uh, we'll do three of these on each side just to get moving. I'm gonna step forward with my left leg. I'm gonna bring my left arm and my right hand right hand, right arm down in between. Okay, so see how my arm has disappeared behind my left leg there? So from the front, it looks like this. So my left elbow or my left tricep should be pressing, roughly should be pressing into my left knee here. Okay, from there, I'm gonna lift my left arm up. So the arm that's closest to my knee and I'm reaching up, I'm pointing it at the sky and looking up, all right? So from the side, what that looks like is here, turn and look up. With that same side, come down. I'm going to straighten that leg gently, okay? Because that's a pretty intense, good job, Zach. That's a pretty intense hamstring stretch, all right? And then you can stand up and go again, all right? Three times on each side. So I'll go one more on my right, come down in between my hips, twist here, hammy stretch, and then I'm going to stand up, all right? I'm going to go to my right hand side now. Good job, Ava. So I step forward with my right leg. Now my right arm comes inside my right leg. So my right triceps pushing on my right knee. My left hand stays down and I twist my right arm up and turn and look at it. Straighten my leg, get a stretch in my hammy. Stand up, okay? I'm keeping an eye on you guys. I'm not being lazy, I swear. I love that stretch. I could do it all day. Keep going. Good job, Jenkins. Good, Ben. Good, Ben Jones. Great work. Good job, Tate. Good, Maddie and Hannah, awesome. That's perfect, make sure that hand comes down in between your legs, good job. Job Ava, good job. Yeah, good job, Cody. So what are you doing, Kobe? You're walking laps, mate, I like it. Get your steps up. Job Reed, you got your basketball out. If you're all done, get some shots up. Zach, if you're done shooting, shoot some free throws, whatever you can work on. Good job, Aiden. HGs, getting some shots up, good. So we're gonna move into our, our power portion of the session. Okay, we move into the power portion now. So again, <clears throat> what we're doing here is we, we, you guys can do two sets. Okay, I haven't disappeared here. I'm just on my laptop watching you guys. So you guys can do two sets, right? Um, I, I will take longer to do a set because I'm going to talk through the technique a little bit. We might have some new people joining each week. But if you've been here and you've done these exercises with me before, or if you've got the session plan in front of you and you know what we're doing, Feel free to walk, work through it at your own pace. We'll try and stick to about a five minute timeline here. So we'll try and stick to five minutes per, probably five minutes per superset, realistically. So 10 minutes total. And then five minutes, we're gonna work on the, uh, on the sports specific or the basketball specific movements, okay? So the first exercise we've got is our split stick takeoff. Okay, so you guys will remember this from last week. We're doing five on each leg, yep. So split, so what that means, split stick, stick takeoff. So I split, I come into like a jump lunge. So I'm here, jump lunge, all right. Split, stick, takeoff. And I push out as fast, as far left as I can. So if I'm on my right leg, what it looks like from the side, 
split stick takeoff at full, and I'm trying to land on that left leg and not lose my balance, okay? So just slow it down again, split, stick, takeoff, okay? All in one movement or all as quickly as you possibly can in quick succession. So split, stick, takeoff. All right, five on each leg. I'm gonna to come to the camera and have a look. If you guys have got it all under control, good Lily. Or is that Kobe? I can't quite see. I think it's Lily. Good job. Good Lily Alou. Stay low. So remember, good Alex, everything is, these sessions, as hard as it is through Zoom, you've got to be detail orientated. So just a quick look at some of you then, if you can see me, some of you are very upright. Yeah. So we're very upright. So we're split, stick, take off. We're not really getting better. Yeah. We're not getting worse, I don't think, but we're not getting better. So all of our power is in our glutes here and to some degree also our quads. To, to open up that power, we have to bend at our hips and bend at our knees. And we'll talk about it more with the next exercise, but the lowest player always wins, okay? If I'm trying to blow by my defender, I've got a lot more chance blowing by them like this than I do like this. I'm just not as powerful, okay? So with the split stick takeoff, you have to bend your knees, okay? So split, we're low, stick, push off. We've got to have bend in the hips, bend in the knees. So you need a little lower if you feel like that might refer to you. Good job, is that the music that's doing skipping in between? I love it. Good job, Nick. So you don't have to split too far there either, Nick. It's just a little quick split, but good job doing the skipping in between me and Amelia, awesome. So we're five on each leg. Next exercise, we're going to come back to that. So we're going to do our second set, but we've got a forward movement. Next exercise uh, is our, we did it last week. It's a little bit of a funky one. It's a little bit of a funky one. It's called a groove step. Okay, so you've got your basketball. If you want your basketball to help you with this. We're coming into, I want you to sort of catch just in a, in a rhythm, like almost in a two foot stop, like you've just received a pass. And I want you to jab step, okay? and hold there, so jab step, hold there. For, so from the side, you're about there. You're not quite in a lunge, but you've just got that short, you've got about a foot space between your left and, and, and right foot. From here, what we're doing is it's called a groove step. So we're rocking back and forth in that. So I'm, see how I'm lifting onto my, the ball of my back foot and I'm pushing my knee over my front foot, then I'm leaning back. So we call that a groove step. So we're warming up our hips, we're warming up our hips a little bit, but we're also warming up our Achilles, working on that pushing off, working on that elastic knees over toes. See that knees over toes movement there? That used to, we used to be, avoid that at all costs, but it's actually really good for us now. We're gonna do 10 on each leg because it's not a very strenuous exercise. So again, the best way to set it up, catch it like you've just received a pass, jab step on your left foot now. So now I'm groove step on my left-hand side and I'm. And if it helps you do this, you can just rock the ball across, forward and back. So we're trying to put all our weight in our front leg, then back in our back leg. Front, back, front, back, okay? 10 on each side. Now, if you're moving forward and moving through this quicker than me, which is not hard, we do our split stick again. But now we're jumping forward. So I'm gonna jump this way now. So we're split stick again, five on each leg, split stick, take off one leg forward, or you can take off into a sprint, or you can take off into a jump. So again, here we go. Split stick, take off. Okay, so we've done lateral. We've exploded out of our hips laterally. I want you to split stick, take off, sprint now. So you're gonna need a little bit of space in front of you. Okay, five on each leg. Good, Matt, good Alice. So we're still split stick, but then we take off. Good Talia, good job Hannigans, good Ivan. Good job, Scout, there you go. Good, good. You should be taking off from a single leg. So remember the detail oriented part of this session. Split, stick, straight into a sprint. So if I'm starting on my right, my right leg goes forward with my split. I land on just my right leg. That's my stick. So I stick and then I take off, okay? And I wanna throw my arms forward, probably my left arm. So split, stick, take off. Could be right arm, maybe right arm. Right arm, sorry. Yeah, right arm. Okay, so here we go. Split, stick, take off, and throw your arms forward. So throw left arm back if I'm right, right leg forward. 
split stick, right arm, left arm, and just use your upper body to propel you forward. Five on each leg, you can do five, uh, you can do 10 groove steps on either leg again once you're done with that. I'm just coming to watch some technique. Good Kobe, good Lily, good Mia, Nick. Oh, we got more than we got more than just the mu signats. There's four there. I, I, it took me a while to figure it out. I can see Nick. Pretty sure that's Amelia. Okay, we got an extra. We got a we got a friend. I like it. Good job. So you guys, if you if you've finished your split stick and your sprint takeoff, don't forget we've got groove step again if you want. Groove step. Weight shifts to the front knee, back knee, front leg, back leg, front leg. These are pretty quick though. You can work through these again. Front leg, back leg, front leg, back leg. We're putting some pressure. Just trying to put some load through that Achilles. Okay, and put some load through that patella tendon, which is the, the tendon that connects our patella here down to our, our shin, yeah? So this movement here, we're missing this movement a little bit right now without being back at the stadium because we're not able to play ones, things like that. I'm frozen, Colton. Am I frozen for everyone else? Give me a thumbs no. up if you can see me. No, all good. No, it's just you, Colton. No. Sorry, mate. Hopefully I'm frozen on something cool. No, nah, all good. Hey, Kira. <laughs> I just spotted you there. Hey, mate. All right, so next next set. So you can keep working through that groove step, get some free throws up, have a breather, get a drink if you can hear me okay. Next exercise is my favorite, My is, is the broad jump. Okay, we've got five broad jumps, and then we've got 10 push-up to take off. So five on each leg. So again, if you know what you're doing and you remember these exercises from last week, feel free to move on. Otherwise, tune in. Broad jump, really simple, really fun, really simple. Just be careful when you're doing it. Make sure your surface is uh, not slippery. Okay, make sure you've got grip. If you're in bare feet, things like that. Some of you are inside, some are outside. I'm outside, I'm pretty comfortable here. I don't think I'll slip, touch wood. Okay, broad jump, up on my toes. I like to reach up nice and high. Up on my toes, I swing my arms through. So I really rapid, swing my arms back as I drop my hips. So really as quick as I can, I drop my hips and then I jump forward as far as I can. So see how I throw my arms out in front of me to help propel me? And we're working on that explosive horizontal takeoff. Okay, you got five of those. I'll do two or three. And then I want to come see you guys. Make sure we're doing it properly. Geez, that's a big jump. I might jump out the screen here. Wow. <sighs> Not known for my explosiveness, but here we go. How's everyone doing? Good, Cody. Can you do, can you find a little space there to be able to still jump forward or not really? Done. That's all right. If you're done, it's not a race. All good. Job. Job, Lockie. Job, Kobe. Good. Good, Matilda. Good. Use whatever space you've got. Well, good, Kira. Try and take off two feet at the same time. And that can be tough. It's a lot easier said than done when you're first starting out as well. Okay, very easy to, for me to just show you and say, I've been doing it for years now. Raph, you're see-through. I don't know what sort of filter you got going on there, mate, but I can see the planet in your face. It's tripping me out. Good job, Zave. Good finish, good Menzi. Yeah, so again, we'll, we'll circle back. We'll do another set of this in a second, but good job, Zach. Don't have to tell me when you're done, guys. You work at your own pace. Good, good stuff. So I see a couple of you sort of hesitating. That's okay. Really, at this point in time, there's no wrong way to exercise or no wrong way to do this. But I see a couple of you sort of, you go to take off and you're sort of like, you're sort of taking a step. We need to just get to a spot where we're comfortable just taking off. And remember, it's not about height, it's about distance, okay? So we're not, we're not stepping into it, okay? Like we were on Monday morning with our penultimate buildup. We're just swinging through and taking off from a dead start, okay? Last exercise, sorry, second exercise we're gonna do for this superset. We'll come back to the broad jumps, is a push up to take off. So you'll need a bit of space in front of you, okay? We're push up to take off. Who was I talking to before? Cody, I think. Where are you, Cody? Oh, there you are. Do you have a bit of space there? Can you go to the, even if you come 
even if, oh, you don't have much. Even if you go away to your backyard and then come back to the camera to hear me talk, it's it's okay if you've got a little bit of space to be able to just even just a couple of steps. So our push up, our push up to take off. We're just going to be down, and this is just to this is just to improve um, getting low, getting really low as we take off. So we're just going to do a push up. Okay, if you're on your knees, you can still do a push up on your knees, and then I just want you to spring up as quickly as you can. And you're either going to bring your left knee forward. Okay. You're either going to bring your left knee forward and push off or right knee forward five on each side. Okay. I'll do a couple. I flipped last week. So if anyone wants to watch this first one, it'll probably be hilarious. I'll probably slip. I'm going to go left leg third, uh, forward, forward first. So push up left leg and take off. Okay. And if you run off camera, don't worry about it. I'll do a few on my left. You guys keep working, do five on each leg. Push up. And don't worry too much about technique. This, this exercise is designed to learn by doing because you're already forced to be in a low position. You're already in a pretty good sprint takeoff position. Just remember to drive your arms. Drive your arms. That's it, guys. Good job. All good, guys. Awesome. Okay, so five on each leg. Good job, Aaron. Good job. Good job. Keep working. All right, guys. So now we're going to circle back to our broad jumps. For those that haven't already, if you've done your broad jumps, we're right on five. So the last five, 10 minutes of this session today will be our basketball specific. If you've got to go at five, that's okay. I'm always going to go probably till around five, 10 past five, five fifteen. But we've done the most important exercises by five, okay? So remember our broad jump. We'll finish at 5.15. All, all the sessions are 45 minutes. But the way we've designed them is that you can leave after half or if you have to, half an hour. Because some of us in the mornings have to leave after half an hour and that's okay. Oh, you hurt your ankle. Oh, be careful, Hunter. All right, yeah, broad jumps. Down. I'm going so broad jumps, I'm going to use a band now. So some of you might have a resistance band. I've got a bit of a longer resistance band here. One of these bungee cords that I can use for a bit of resistance, right? So I'm just using that as a bit of extra resistance around my waist. Okay, you don't have to have one of these, but if you have, it's a really good way to add some external load to that exercise safely, okay? Otherwise, we're just here for five, trying to work on that takeoff. Good, and then we're into another 10 push up to take off. All right, good Tate, out as far as you can. Let's go HG, who's, get, who's getting further? Oh, it's not even close. Come on, you gotta get a good Ava, good Jack, swing down and through. Good, that's massive, Jack. Awesome, good work. If you've got, if you've got a breather in between, remember you've got your push up to sprint takeoff second set. Remember the second set, I'm not necessarily gonna do with you every time. You're gonna have to learn and do that yourself and then you can shoot free throws, okay? So do your second set. I'm looking at you Jenkins boys. Have you done your second set of push up to takeoff? Good, Matty Shacklock. Lower that rim, man. Start throwing it down. Good boy. Sprint to take off now. Yeah, you've done it. All right, good. Have a drink. Shoot some free throws. So sprint to take off here. We're back down. Push up. Left. Oh, I'm saying sprint to take off. Push up to take off. Sorry. Okay, push up to take off. I'm going left leg. Push. Boom. Take off. Try and sort of explode off. We'll go right, right foot a couple. As soon as that foot hits the ground, think take off. As soon as you make contact, take off. Once you've done that, grab a drink. We're into our sport specific stuff. Ooh, okay. So sport specific stuff. If you're still doing your sprint take off, don't stress. We'll go through it in a sec. 
Good, good. Okay. Okay, so sprint takeoff now, it's really attention to detail. So what we're working on here is this is our LeBron stance takeoff. So when I say LeBron stance, I'm referring to, if you've ever seen LeBron drive by someone, his first step, he's obviously very, very explosive, but if you were to take a snapshot of him as he was driving by his defender, he's so low, like he's six foot eight, six nine, and when he goes by, he goes by their hip. So he's like here. People wonder why he's so, he's strong. He's obviously a freak athlete, but it's because he's so low. So his center of gravity is so low, even though he's so big and long, he's able to get by. So I think we get too caught up in being tall too often. Basketballers have to be tall and we have to be, no. When the ball's in our hands, we're blowing by a defender. The lower, the better, okay? Harder to guard, the lower you are. Um, so we're going to work on, all we're going to do here is with our basketball, we're going to start five right, five left. We're just going to go from this position here, one dribble, okay? But I want you to swap legs, okay? So what you're going to do is like a little scissor step, almost like a jump lunge. So I'm going to start with the ball in my right hand. Okay, I'm going to go right dribble, split, and then take off. All right, so I'm going to go from my right leg forward to my left leg forward, take off. The right leg here, so I'll go one bounce, split, take off. And I want you to throw the ball out in front of you a little bit, okay? Now, if you've got a hoop, I'll try and move my camera here a little bit so you can see my hoop, okay? You've got a hoop, do this into a layup, okay? Do this into a finish. Let's not waste these movements. Let's not waste this time outdoors. My hoop's blending into the sun there, okay? But if I start in this stance here, okay, I go dribble, take off into a layup, okay? Or better yet, if you've got a lowerable hoop, go into a dunk. Yeah, make it real fun. You can work on a 10 foot hoop after this. If you've got a lowerable hoop, let's go to a dunk. So five on each leg, starting right leg forward here. I'll get into the camera view here. Right leg, bounce, split, take off. Make sure that takeoff is low, yeah? So we're here, bounce, split, take off. I want you to throw the ball out in front of you. Okay, here we go. Good guys, excellent, good. Good Lily, oh, behind the back, oh, I like it. Good, Kobe, good job, five on each leg. So we got that split, throw it out, go get it. I want you to stay low, throw it out and go get it. Good, Zave, perfect. Yeah. Low, low, low. You might even feel silly. You'll be like, I'm so low to the ground here. This is stupid. Oh, that's good, Cody. Good. That's a perfect setup. Good job. Good job. Okay. Five on each leg. Have a breather. Good job. If you if you don't need a breather, shoot some free throws. Whatever you can. Just in oh, that's a brick. Just enjoy being outside. Oh, another brick. Embarrassing. There we go. All right, you've got to make the most of these beautiful days, make the most of, if you don't have a hoop, don't stress. That's not a problem. Um, you just got to make the most of it, use the space we've got, do some ball handling. Yeah, Jake, uh, Jack, sorry, Jake. Good job, Jackie Brown. All right, so we're going to go now into quick hands. Okay, so quick hands, pump fake and explode. We've got five on each side now. You might be thinking, what the heck did he just say? Pump quick hands, pump fake and explode. So what I want, same sort of thing. It's just drilling in again, getting down low into that LeBron stance. LeBron stance is not even a great word we use for it. We can call it anything. We can call it, uh, it's any elite athlete, any elite basketballer gets into this stance. You watch Tessa Levy, same thing. Tessa Levy's here. She's by your hip, she's so low. So we're gonna drill that in a little bit. I'm gonna start with my right leg forward here. When I say quick hands, okay, when I say quick hands, what I mean by that is I'm going pump fake. I'm going, sorry, I'm going through my legs, quick hands, one. I'm going five, pump fake, I come back, and then I take off. So now we're trying to train. We're down low here. We go quick hands, one, two, three, four, five, pump fake, take off. All right, same thing. Toss the ball out in front. I want you to imagine 
like there's someone standing in front of you with their arm out like this. You have to get under that arm, okay? You guys are gonna be the best judge here. You gotta hold yourselves accountable. So we're low, right leg forward, quick hands, three, four, five, I'm fake, take off. All right. And again, you got a hoop. If you're lucky enough to have one there, do this into a layup. So I'm right leg forward here, right leg forward here, quick hands. One, two, three, four, five, one fake, take off into a layup. All right. Five on each leg. Gary. Yo, yep. Look what Who's happened. That? Locky, oh, oh, we've got a wedgie. Uh -huh. We've got a wedgie in the hoop. That's We call that a wedgie. It's caught between the hoop and the backboard. That's all right. Can you get up and get it? <laughs> Good job, guys. So five on your right leg. Then we go five left leg forward. So same thing with our left leg forward here. This is my left leg. Okay, quick hands. Two, three, four, five. Come fake. Take off. How are we doing? Everyone doing the best they can at that. If you're inside, good job, Zach. If you're inside, just do it with a takeoff as best you can. Ben, uh, looks like Alana, Laney, you guys are outside. That's good. Good, good. Kobe, you just got to do the best you can. Just work on that takeoff. Yeah, real explosive. All right, guys. So we can do another set if you've got time. So we're, we're quickly going to go do, do our second set. We're about, what are we? Nearly 10 pass, so we'll get our cool down in still here. So second second set, so our LeBron stance. I'll show you from the front on here. So right leg forward, dribble, split, take off. So remember you push off that back leg, use that front leg as a guide. So right leg forward, dribble, split, push off, okay? So if you start with your right leg forward, you're gonna end up pushing off your right leg, okay? Dribble, split, push off. So again, footwork, stay low. The lower, the better. The message here. No worries, Hannah. Maddie, see you later, Hannah and Maddie. Great work, girls. Awesome. See you, girls. If you've got to go, no stress. Otherwise, if you do have to go, make sure you do a cool down with this LeBron stance or this athletic stance, whatever you want to call it. Okay, dribble, take off. Okay, finish. Five on each leg. Okay, so make sure you start right leg forward, left leg forward. Okay, finish or into a jump shot or into a Euro step or whatever you've got in your bag. And then we're back into our quick hands. Okay, for five on each hand or five on each leg again. So we're quick hands. We're down low, start right leg forward. One, two, three, four. Five, pump fake and take off again. So the idea of adding in that pump fake is we make it sport specific, yeah? Because sometimes we have to hold in this position or we have to get to this jab step, but we have to come back out to sell a pump fake or a jump shot, a jump fake, shot fake, and then take off again, okay? Work through that. If you are done, start your cool down, that's okay. All good, if you're done, you can stretch. Leg swings forward and back. Jump up, leg swings, forward and back, hammies. Good job, Kobe, doing some skipping. Or if you guys are gonna keep shooting, it's a beautiful night. You got probably got another hour of light out here. If you're gonna get some shots up and do some extra work, you don't have to cool down, all good. You guys can just jump off. No worries, Zave. No worries, mate, enjoy. See you guys, see you, Maddie. See you, Maddie, see you boys. Okay, so Hi, if you've got- you. If you're welcome. See ya. Who's that? Kira. See Kira. If you want to do some leg swings, woo. Yeah. Here we go. Leg swings forward and back. You're welcome. Who's that? I can't see you all. Leg swings forward and back. Leg swings across your body. Good, Alessandra. See ya. See ya, HG girls. See ya, girls. Um, across your body as well. And across your body. Oh, my camera's over here. Uh, no worries, Nick. I know you boys are going to go. Good on you, Mia. So, yeah. Leg swings forward and back. So, get your... If you've got something to hold on to, cross your body. Quick quad stretch. Who's that? Uh, Tilly says, see Tilly. Okay, quick, uh, quick quad stretch, five seconds, either leg will be plenty. 
boom, boom. Little hamstring stretch, so just one leg forward. You bring that toe up a little bit, try and touch that toe. Nice and gentle, don't have to overdo it. And again, other side. And that's it guys, all good. We are all done. So thank you guys for today, it was terrific. I'm gonna look at you on the screen. Don't mind my girlfriend in the background taking some rubbish out. She's good, she's a good chick. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, Larry. No Thanks, worries, Jerry. guys, see you later. See you, Aiden. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. So Thank you, Jerry. 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 Thank you, Jerry.